Um, another good week of preparation, uh, the game tomorrow. Uh, how, how's the week been? Yeah, it's been a good week. Uh, obviously, we spent the week in Buenos Aires there and got a lot of good training under our belt. And um, yeah, I've come here yesterday to some beautiful conditions and we're really excited for the game ahead. Weather very different to what you did have in, in La Plata, you know, seven days ago. Um, what difference could that make tomorrow? Yeah, I guess it'll be a bit more of a free-flowing game. We're in, I guess, the ideal rugby playing conditions. Uh, dry ball, other kickoff. It's it's really exciting for us, and I guess we really want to come out here and express ourselves. Uh, the Pumas, uh, obviously, Montoya's 100th game this weekend. That'll obviously be something that they'll get up for, and expecting a response from them this week. Yeah, definitely, definitely expecting a response from them. Uh, it was such a close one uh, last week, and we know they'll come out and bounce back and really play with even more passion and fire in the belly and uh, I guess it's a credit to Montoya to play 100 games for his country. Um, it's, a, it's a huge honour and um, yeah, we look, look forward to playing in the game. When um, you play a team two weeks in a row, is it almost like you've got to be better the next week because everyone sort of sees how, how each other sort of do things? Yeah, definitely. I guess last week you, you learn a lot about them and about the way they play and you know both teams, uh, I guess, just want to go up a level and have an even better game of footy. And um, yeah, we've had a good week's prep. We've reviewed them hard again and saw that where we can improve and um, hope that we go out there and do that this weekend. Uh, debutante on, on your team that tomorrow, Josh Cannon. Tell us a little bit about Josh and, and what he's been like since coming into the group. Yeah, Josh has been really good for the group. He's quite a uh, doesn't speak too much, but he's a man. I guess he's a man of few words, but when he does speak, the boys listen. He's uh, he's a very skillful lock. Um, he's very tall and athletic, so hope to get him a bit of free space and use his skill. James Slipper, uh, he'll equal the record for the most caps ever for for a Wallaby. Uh, tell us a little bit about James, uh, someone you're close to within camp. Yeah, it's so good for, for Slip. He's, um, I guess he's everyone's uncle in the team and he's just such a leader and such a warrior. Yeah, to play 139 test matches for his country and in the position he's played at is um, he's ridiculous. And um, it's just going to be an honour to play with him in this uh, game because uh, he's one of a kind and I love every moment playing with him. Uh, we're starting to know a bit more about uh, Carlo Tisano. What can you say about uh, his defensive game and what can you say about it? Yeah, Carlo, Carlo loves his defence. That's really, I guess, a bit of his game where he really tries to, I guess, bring a lot of energy to our team and um, he's a real leader in that for us. And I guess uh, his numbers are spoke for, I guess, speak for itself and um, even just the, the uh, I guess, the collisions he has. It's, um, it's always high collisions and um, it's a pleasure to play with. Uh, how do you feel about the, the crowd the last game and what do you expect uh, for tomorrow game? Yeah, the crowd was awesome last game. So passionate, loud and the full 80 minutes, even in the wet, they were all screaming and cheering home Argentina and um, I guess we're, we're expecting something pretty similar uh, tomorrow afternoon and um, yeah, it's such a cool stadium. We get to play it tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow Avo and hopefully in front of a full packed house would be yeah pretty special. Uh, you were talking about uh, James Ripper. Uh, is it a must for you for, uh, to win for his record? Oh, I guess every game you, you, you want to win. Um, there's no test match you're on it. They're not wanting to win, I guess. If we did get the win, it would be extra special to, um, to honour, I guess, one of the greats of Australian rugby. And, um, yeah, I've been saying that. We'll treat it like every other game. OK, the, the last one. Did any Argentine players uh, surprise you the, the last game? Yeah, I guess the, we, we knew the forward pack was going to come out and be physical and uh, yeah, be in our faces if, with the way they carry and um, they did exactly that. They've got such a good back row and I guess a good front row and second row. So as a forward pack, um, I guess there wasn't too many surprises because we expected it and they delivered what we expected. So we're going to have to go up another level this weekend. So just one last one from me. Oh, I'm not, I should know the answer to this, but have you played here before? I know the 20s, a few of you sort of know the area well. Is There's a few of you within this group. Did you ever play here or did you know Santa Fe at all? Oh, I've spent about three to four weeks in Santa Fe. Never played at this stadium, but uh, it's been pretty cool coming back here after, I guess, I had such an awesome time here back here in 2019. So, yeah, it's pretty cool to be back at the same hotel with a few of the same boys too.